The amendment of the Education Act underwent a validation session on Tuesday, May 21st. At the gathering, the draft bill was presented to the public for comment. This is part of the official consultative process catered at engaging all stakeholders to form a comprehensive piece of legislation. Before the floor was opened for commentary, Kendall Kodra, Deputy Permanent Secretary in the Department of Education, gave a status update on the ongoing revision. The Mind Bloom team led by Ms. Paula McKinnon and coordinated through the equipped team have done a remarkable job thus far regarding the review and the revision process of the existing Education Act 2005. I must say that there has been substanti substantial consultation and input from a variety of stakeholders and various groups. To date, we can attest that nearly 1,000 submissions have been received from St. Lucians to inform this change. Among the notable areas of concern raised by stakeholders was the topic of inclusion. The draft bill emphasizes the importance of inclusive learning environments that support teaching and learning for all. Kevin Mathre, a local educator, queried the extent to which this inclusion extends. When was the last time that we had an education system that wasn't catering for all individuals? I, I don't remember that time. Probably it was a time, I, I know we have um, um, persons with um, um, special needs, we cater for special needs. I don't know if we don't cater for special needs. I know from my knowledge we cater for special needs, we cater for, for Rastafarians in the school, we cater for the, the included in our society. We, I, I, I tend to see that when I grew up a lot of, now I grew up from a low socioeconomic background, I was included, I was not discriminated against, I felt welcomed. So that type of inclusion, what else are we including in our culture and in our society. Responding to this concern was Fortuna Anthony, chair of Mind Bloom Consulting, the agency commissioned to deliver the revised bill. Anthony indicated that facilitators intend to create an environment where every student, regardless of their background, is given an opportunity to receive an education. From all perspective, it is the positive inclusion of everyone. You said you didn't know um, at one point in time, I think I'm old enough to know that we had children with special needs that parents hid away from us as people because we did not accept them at school. We did not want them around and children were left at home. Now we are saying every child is entitled inclusion spiritual inclusion cultural inclusion is what we are speaking about in there a completed bill is expected to be put before parliament within the upcoming months for choice news now i am queen sejis